What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Game Over Gurk, man. Welcome to off one of the biggest cult classics in the RPG maker community, fandom, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a game I have some experience with. I've never finished it. I played into it a bit, but I've never completed it. That's all going to change because I'm going to complete it this time. I want to, and I've been wanting to for ages. And uh, really, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Oh, this game was... Oh, before I do. This game was uh, developed by a... Uh, well, I don't, a, a, a Belgian comic artist who goes by the name Mortis Ghost did all the artwork and I think wrote it. I don't know that he programmed it himself. And I forget the name of the composer, but there's a download link to the game in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's dig on in, shall we? Do, do game. Yes. This text is hard to read. Please exit the game and install the font files in the games folder. I already did that. I'm good. Thank you. Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. Musical pieces and sound effects of off created by alias Conrad Coldwood are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Uh, that's a nice little notice. I wish more games uh, that took pride in their uh, game in their audio design gave little messages like that. All right, so my name will be as always G-Man. Well, not always, but on the occasions when it's not she pickle, it'll be G-Man. Yes, that's correct, and I am a boy. All right, welcome, G-Man. You've been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Bat has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. All right, that seems seems reasonable. Such a simple logo, but it works so well. I've always been very fond of the. Uh, the simplicity of just just that on its own to move my body use the arrow keys on your keyboard to interact with the environment use the space bar or the enter key well i'm using a gamepad so it's actually the d-pad and the b button um a very simple visual style this game has i've heard some people complain about it but there's nothing else really quite like it and i uh i actually really really dig it they're not called... <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I've recorded anything. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name. Dear illusionary... Illusor, illusory... Interloop... Interlocutor? Interlocutor? Interloper? I don't know. I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a secret mission. It's a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is G-Man. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes. Oh my god, I'm raining terribly today. Let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear G-Man. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and pair in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of services could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There was no more objective, more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll uh, check this place out. We got some. Is this a chest here? Luck ticket. I don't know what that's about. I don't remember. And it's impossible to get around this obstacle. Uh, four four. 8287C. I'm sure that's going to have some uh, importance to it. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So, I've been mistaken from the beginning. You did not in even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. 
This is relatively bizarre. I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this Liu. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exists other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Uh, yeah, let's do the combat tutorial so y'all can see what it's like. I do like the way the judge talks. So eloquent. Alright, purification progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. I imagine uh, if I'm going to need to grind, that'll probably be <laughs> what I end up doing. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of a coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack anew off of me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Fair enough. All right. Attack. Uh, excellent. Dear sportive companion, you must consider the fact that the batter and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slightness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on. If you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. And finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in this personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. Alright. Give it a whirl. Luck ticket, what does that do? Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am of course talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be, in end of themselves, powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Alright, so luck ticket restored health, which I didn't really need to do, but anyway. The judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. 300 health, 30 CP, no weaknesses or resistances. <laughs> you now know not only about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. Confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good carry health if you want to be a if you want to a successful career in purification. It's offering good advice. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous, luminous missions way. Jeez, Jesus. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat, be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Jesus Christ, you just shot off at our space. Yeah. What's the deal here, buddy? 
Ah uh, yes, to pass through here you will need to use your cerebral organ. You know the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall. In some way or another. That would make sense. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is pretty basic. There's a lot of these sort of puzzles in here, which I personally... <coughs> oh, jeez, I apologize for that. Disgusting. Uh, there's a lot of these sort of puzzles in here, which start off easy enough, but I happen to know for a fact they get pretty complicated. Oops, didn't mean to go that way. Um, all right. One, two, six, eight, two, three. One, two, uh, six, eight, two, three. Aha! I am a genius. I like the way he doesn't explain these puzzles. He just kind of like sits there and waits for you to work it out, which is neat. Aha! Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. Recompense, possibly. Look at this little eating animation. Crunch num num crunch. Alright, so this one, I believe, is the one that was written, yes, outside. A piece of silver flesh has been found. We'll look at that in a moment. Uh, four, four, uh, four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Alright, let's see if I can remember this. Four, four, six, eight, two, eight, seven, and then this button. Yeah, did it! Got a thing! Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful in your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, okay, <laughs> it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is, new, is a new of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out, in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry, I too have a lot. I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, oh, by the way, take this. This object of curious name will be the key to that permits you to enter zone one. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? The earlier card has been found. Actually, before we do that, let's just talk to him one more time. Go ahead, I'm inviting you to try and use the floating cube right behind you. All right, so let's have a look at these items we have. So, Luck Ticket recovers a moderate amount of HP, Silver Flesh recovers CP. Um, competence... Uh, can't look at anything there, don't have anything to equip yet. Status... Uh, class Savior, Purifier, cool, active, waiting. Oh, that must be different... Um, different battle styles. All right, well, let's click on this. Health points can and competence points completely restored. Save game. That sounds like a good idea. And also, whoops. And also, we will return to the nothingness. Back to the nothingness. Yes, please. That says world map. Aha, so this is the nexus. Now we reach these different zones. We got zone one, zone zero, zone two, zone three. Some weird, creepy music. What is the room? It's impossible to enter. You need an adequate Zodiac card. Uh, it looks like they're all going to say that. So I guess Zone 1 will be the one that makes the most sense currently. And it's raining. Because of course it is. Got to set that mood. I'm going to save this game here. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. 
now the real game begins. I hope you'll join me next time to see where things go from here. Um, yeah, as always, I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And I'll catch you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out, and as always, have a good one.